Welcome back everyone. So, I wanted to give you a quick update on the goldfish. Um, so it has turned cold here, um, if you can't tell. But, so they have done their job. They have cleaned up and everything. I haven't been out here for the last few days because it's been raining. And I actually thought that the water would be pretty cloudy, but it's not. They've done a really excellent job. So I will show you what, um, what they've done and uh, this is why we use goldfish, um, the little feeder fish in here. Now, the small ones are, um, you know, obviously just about a month old. And then we have some that are a few inches to where they are uh, about a year old. And then the really big ones, they're about two years old. So you'll see here in just a second. All right, so here we go. Here's some of the bigger ones that are all um, just swimming around. Now, the, the main water temp is, I don't have a thermometer in there, but it's actually not that cold because the air temp got really cold, but um, the temperature in here is still pretty warm. Uh, it's just, it's been cloudy the last few days and raining, so the air temp is cold enough for coat weather, but these guys are doing really good. You can see the small ones, the big ones, and, you know, whenever we first put them in there from that first video that I did, you couldn't see an inch off the surface, and now you can see all the way down to the bottom, so. I hope that helps in making it uh hope it helps on y'all understanding like how we use goldfish and this is just one stock tank that we use Lucky. Come here, Lucky. Here. Right here. There we go.
There's Nova. She's doing really good. So everyone is fed, everyone has fresh water since the rain, we had that for like two days straight. Um, we had to replace the bales in the boar's pens, so s'mores pen and redneck's pen got new bales of hay, um, and <laughs> there's s'mores pen, uh, they're loving it. Coco's on top. And that's all. But as long as we keep them with, a lo maintain all of them with hay, then they will stay warm as the temperatures fluctuate here. Um, we're in Arkansas, in northwest Arkansas, to where um, <laughs> the old saying is the weather changes every 10 minutes, um, which is not too far from it. Uh, we went from earlier this week, I think we had like 80 degree weather during the day 
and um, it was about 60 degrees at night to um, raining uh, cold to where today has been the highs have been in the 50s the lows are going to be in the 40s and uh, the forecast for next week is below freezing which um, this is the end of October sorry for the wind but um, this is whenever everything starts cooling down for us uh, the leaves have been changing on the trees for the last week and um, we bring in a lot of tourists for the fall colors as far as nice drives like on the pig trail and down to Van Buren and Fort Smith and uh, it's really nice so if you ever have the opportunity to do it you should you should try and take a drive on one of the old highway roads um, it's really pretty um, and there's only about a two-week window um, each year which is usually like late October early November so but um, but yeah the cows have been doing really well since the three steers that we took to the cell barn um, so we kept one to save back for um, a grower uh, feed him it'll be like about another 18 months from now before he's ready to go to the um, for processing um, but that's three less mouths to feed during the winter and um, the cows that we do have like Clarabelle behind me um, we uh it's time for them to get bred again well apparently Daisy escaped the house he is our oldest cat he's um, a Maine Coon <laughs> yeah that's right Maine Coon um, cross of a cat and um, his name is Daisy because whenever we first got him the kids thought that he was a girl because he was just a big ball of fluff and he has I mean technically he's my cat <laughs> as you can see oh I know why he's coming up here now we have an unwanted visitor behind us okay so this is actually come on this is Dragony Fun Fun <laughs> okay Dragony uh, my youngest son named her she's a registered Holstein or not Holstein, a registered Jersey um, she's freshened for us one time hold on that's better okay so this is Dragony Fun Fun. So, um, we actually got her for showing purposes. And my uh, youngest son, he got her as a calf. She was bottle raised, um, which is why she is so friendly. But, uh, that can create some problems in its own to where she is sometimes, woo! too friendly <laughs> so um since having her um calve she has calmed down a lot but i prefer her um to have a calf on her because um if she doesn't then she's a little crazy aren't you girl yes you are okay and she's probably about to be in heat with her being, stop, with her being kind of aggressive. Now, she has known uh, before to jump us in the field. And so, I'm going to get off here and get back towards the goats to where um, she doesn't take a chance of trying to hurt me. So, there's Dragony. I wanted to also show y'all something that, okay, so I can't ever get in touch, like, within five feet of this guy, and oh, if I were to get into this pen, there's no way that he will actually come up to me, but Huckleberry, Huckleberry, 
Come here. Look at me. <laughs> he actually wants me to pet him. And no, the top of his head doesn't stink. As long as, ah, as long as I just keep it right there at the top of his head. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh my goodness. You want to say hi to the camera? Tell everybody hi. Hey, over here. Huckleberry. <coughs> ah. Dude, you're not wearing a face mask and you coughed in my face. Do you have Corona? I don't know. You little weirdo. I love it. If y'all ever go over to CNJ Funny Farm, so Claire over there has Huckleberry's dad, which is Luke. And Luke is very, very hairy. But Huckleberry hasn't made it that far yet, but he is starting to get pretty, pretty long hairs. So. Bye, Huckleberry.